You know, I've known J.D. Ritchie since he made the judgment error of appearing on my original Sporting Chef show many years ago. And here's J.D. with a sardine wrap tip. So this right here is a quick fish, or flatfish. They both work on the Sacramento River. One of the top things to catch salmon on. And the trick to these things is to put a sardine wrap on the belly to give it a little scent, which helps the fish hone in on it and also kind of mask human scent on it. As far as sardines go, obviously the fresher the better. Now, this time of year, it's hard to find the good ones from the ocean, so we just get these from the store. And the key to this whole process is this stuff called Miracle Thread. And this is what we're gonna wrap the sardine onto the bottom of the plug with. We start just like you're filleting a salmon, a cut behind the gill, just lay down the lateral line and the backbone. And I typically, depending on the size plug, I'm gonna cut them in half. And you trim them up almost into what looks like a little pair of pants. Slide it over the front eye of the hook, front hook. Start wrapping, and I kind of start at the back here. And then we go ahead of the hook, switch that back to the back there. A Couple more wraps, just to make everything just nice and flat. You don't want any flaps hanging up because it affects the way this thing swims through the water. Pull it free. If it's seated one side or the other of the plug, it's gonna wiggle the wrong way. So you wanna make sure it's on there nice and centered. Now when you get done with that, the next thing to do is clip your line on there and put this thing in the water. This is called tuning. Now when it, you pull it through the water, the plug needs to be wiggling in a straight line, kind of like a car that's in alignment. If it's off center, it'll pull to one side or the other. And the way you fix that is you grab a set of pliers and you just turn the eye where the line attaches the opposite way. So if it's pulling this way, I'm gonna turn that a little bit the opposite direction. And a lot of times what happens is now you've overcorrected and it's wiggling over here and then you recorrect it and finally you get it centered. And so you want that thing wiggling right down the center line like that, not pulling to one side or other. They won't eat it for some reason this way. And part of it has to do with it won't dive properly, but also they just don't seem to be into that action at all. Tune that sucker up properly and you're gonna get bit a lot more.